Hello there and welcome to our latest listing this year 2006 Luna Lexan EB fixed bed full berth caravan on single axle. Let's have a look around the outside first of all. Okay, so this is really, I'm thinking of just putting it on at this price pre-Christmas. If it goes at this price before Christmas, great. If not, I'm going to put a bit of time into it and um, and and reap the rewards, should I say, really. is um, It will be on for a much higher price once we've done those little bits and bobs that uh, a home handyman could easily do. So anyway, it is what it is. It's this price before Christmas. If not, I'll put some time in myself and uh, and get it up to uh, up to really good um, you know spec and what have you in condition and uh and, and sell it on from there so um right first of all alco stabilizer at the front there okay uh handy little locker there uh, enclosed locker uh bar external barbecue hookup as well uh, an external power point as well great for um plugging in the stereo you name it sidewall's pretty good for the year it's a really just a really presentable caravan to be fair oh i'm just going to mention things as as I see them and as I remember little crack there you could put a bit more glue on there to be fair or some better glue on that um, I do have some proper acrylic glue um, that I can uh, signpost you where to where to get that from so that's one little job so really clean and tidy beautifully presented look at it so I'm got doing this outside of, of my house because it's extremely windy today. So it's just to uh, so you can hear me a little bit better as I'm going through. So yes, yeah, this side wall here, all good. Leisure battery included, power lead included, new step included. Tires are good. There's a spare wheel underneath the underneath the caravan as well. Okay, it's got a warrant of fitness. Just got a new warrant of fitness. Uh, have a new gas cert. it's got a new gas cert, and it will have a new electrical waff as well okay so that's all included in the price so it's really just get it up to its uh, see if somebody wants it before we put a bit more time into it and uh, and make it a lot more valuable i suppose let's move down this side wall here looks like that's been Cut that, put a bit of a polish on, probably cut that so you couldn't see that. So that's the cassette toilet at the rear there. Right, moving on inside. Really, really, really clean and tidy. Upholstery is really good. Not all sun faded and what have you, it's in good nick. Table here. Pulls out, great if it's the two of you. There's a little lock here. I think there's a stereo as well, whilst I think about it. I think there is. You can certainly hear it when you turn the, uh, there we go, Panasonic stereo as well. Fly screens and blinds, I haven't checked all those yet. It's just come in. It's, um, like I say, it's uh, it's this price, or, uh, or I'll put the time in the, and uh, sell it for more so skylight a fly screen and blind on as well yeah fly screen and blind okay this is obviously this is the inner inner skin here someone's put this on you can see a bit of grazing there wouldn't really bother me this lifts up so the best thing to do is come and have a look to be honest it's um it's got a hell of a lot going for it to be fair also, just whilst I'm just going to point things out whilst I think about it, you've got a wardrobe here, it's a great storage. But I love this, and it's really, really handy when you're away. Great to use as a pantry or, or what have you, it's really, really good. Not on, not, not on a lot of vans. Good lengths on these as well, okay, converts into a double as well. All right. Moving down to the kitchen. This is how it came. It was, I bought this internally. I re-registered it because it had actually been sat for quite a while and not used really, and they're, they're not registered. So to save a load of hassle, I just re-registered it. I've got the old number plate and what have you, if you want that. Grill. Very clean oven as well. 
Now, I've had all the hobs and that, obviously on the gas set, we've had all that going. The uh, Obviously, that's all working as it is. The fridge is going on gas and electric as well. The hot water's going on gas and electric as well. Space heater's going on gas and electric, plus also the fan master's going as well. You can hear that, it's blowing you around the van and through these little ducts at the front here and at the rear as well, as you can see. Every light's going in the van as well. Um, have we got the master on? Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it, come and have a look yourself, but every light's going in, in the van. Great, here's some people put a TV up here, so you can watch it obviously in fixed bed. Or some people put a microwave in as well. This folds down, gives you more perception of space. Kiwi PowerPoint's already. Like I say, it does need its electrical. That will be done and included in the price. Okay, so also, yes, fixed bed here, loads of storage underneath. Also a camper Fiesta Air Awning Pro. I don't know whether I'm including that or not yet, to be totally honest. Uh, we'll see how we go. That's worth a fair bit of money, that. I think there is still the price tag of a thousand pounds, two thousand uh, dollars on it. So, and it looks in very good condition. Have a look yourself. I, I don't know yet. Talk to me about that. One thing to mention, right? This internal skin of the window has a crack in, as you can see, and they've taped it. Now, the actual window, um, the front inner pane and outer can come away and if you can uh, separate it you can easily get I know a company that will easily make you a new inner pane you can glue it in uh, and and get it back to pretty much like a like you know like like new um, not expensive to do it's about 70 I think 80 dollars they'll do that for I can give you all the details I'll do that myself if uh, it hasn't sold by Christmas so uh, that's the kind of plan at the moment I can give all the details on, on, how, on what to do and who to contact. We can supply you the glue as well if you want. Um, right, we've got obviously shower here. Really good space in here. Theft for cassette toilet there as well. Shower's all going. One thing to mention, there's a crack in the shower tray. Now where it's located, you could just, oh, it doesn't seem too bad to be fair. It's not really moving much at all actually. You could just put a bit of fiberglass over that. You could just silicon it. You could do whatever you want. It's there. I'm not doing anything at the moment. We will do something to it if it's not sold by Christmas. So, obviously, as I stated, the price goes up the more we do. Right, so this tap is leaking at the bottom as well. Not sure what we're doing with that as yet. Um, easy replacement. Um, that might be for the you know next person to do. If it's not sold, we'll um, we'll do that. One thing to mention as well, right? The floor when you're in, it's got its warrant underneath. It looks all right. It's more the, the floor's constructed of ply insulation than ply. Uh, so it's the top top bit of ply that's got a bit of play in in the floor here. Okay. Uh, well. Not bad up here actually to be fair but there is a little bit there and there's a bit of play in down here as well now from what i can see it appears just to be the top there is a floor d lamb kit you can buy in new zealand for 125 dollars and you can shore all the floor up by injecting expanding kind of expanding foam resin that goes goes hard um and sort all that for the price of 125 dollars yes you're gonna have to do a bit of work doing that yourself but um but it, it can easily be done something that i could actually do in my carpentry handyman skills are leave a lot to be desired to be fair so yeah we'll do that i'll do that if if it hasn't sold beforehand um so yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else now. Sorry to ramble on, but I don't want anybody to have to waste a trip. Oh, one thing, yes. Uh, just going through with my meter. It was really good, to be fair. Um, there's just a few things just to point out. Like I say, I do apologise for rambling on, but I'd rather ramble on than you waste your time coming to look. Right, so 
we have a bit of staining down here. It's all solid, nothing on the meter. I'm gonna try and show you that. Try and show you that anyway. Come and have a look yourself, borrow a meter, go through it, do whatever you want to do. There we go. Can you see that? Oh. Yeah, it's a reading of, oh, it's very low. It's, it's a reading of about eight, it's saying there. Bailey UK say an acceptable level is up to about 22 on one of these meters, okay? So there's a bit of staining, but it's all, you could paint it, you could do whatever you want to do, you could leave it. It's, there's nothing on the meter there at all. I just want to point it out. Now, what else was there? Right, just in the toilet area, I did notice a little bit of discoloration up here but all seems to be all right on the meter. Okay, and then there was one thing that I noticed, just very slight here. You see that? Now there's that actually a bar at the top here um, that I'll show you, that it's a fairly common area where it may actually let a bit of moisture in, a bit of water in. So look, we're pretty high there. Okay, so it probably just needs resealing on the outside, removing and resealing, or let's go look down here. We go. Yeah, well, we're not too bad there, to be fair. But I'll show you on the outside. I've got a ladder out there. I'll show you. Okay, we're 25 there. So yeah, that's there. I just want to try and point everything out. We'll remove that and uh, reseal it if it's not sold beforehand. And I reckon those um, readings will drop extremely quickly to be fair on in that area but we'll see it is what it is that ceiling fans working I'll just go and show you outside also what else was there this front window needs re-gluing can you just see there's a bit of easy to do I can supply the glue if you want we will do it if not Okay, also just, I'll show you that window. Yeah, you can either live with it, you can re-glue it here. Can you see it's coming away a touch there? You can re-glue it and just live with it or get a new pane made. I'll, I'd do that if uh, I'm gonna retail this after Christmas. Right, apologies with the, it's blowing a gale, so hopefully you can hear me okay. There's that strip there. So you could just remove and reseal, and it's um, more than likely that that's actually where it's going to be coming in. So yeah, apologies for going on and on and on, but um, I just want you to be informed about what's what. This price till Christmas, if not, it'll be off the market for two or three or four weeks, and we'll get it up to scratch and uh, and retail it for for more so yeah any questions don't hesitate to give me a call my name's tom on 0211 281570 or contact me through the website qualitycarevans.co.nz